On the 1st of February 2003, the Space Shuttle Columbia disintegrated upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere. All seven aboard were lost. This disaster profoundly impacted space travel and led to major changes at NASA. In 1961, the first of the famous Freedom Rides began. Activists rode interstate buses into the segregated southern United States to challenge the non-enforcement of Supreme Court decisions regarding segregation. In 1920, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police was formed by the merger of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police and the Dominion Police. The RCMP, known for their distinctive red uniforms and hats, is a symbol of Canada. The first edition of the Times of London was published on February 1, 1785. Originally named the Daily Universal Register, it became one of the world's most influential newspapers, still in circulation today. On February 2, 1887, Groundhog Day was first celebrated in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. According to folklore, if the groundhog sees its shadow, there will be six more weeks of winter. In 1848, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo was signed, ending the Mexican-American War. This gave the U.S. a massive amount of territory along the Southwest, including present-day California. In 2002, the trial of Slobodan Milosevic, the president of Serbia and Yugoslavia began at The Hague. Milosevic was charged with crimes against humanity, but died before the trial finished. And in 1943, one of the deadliest battles in human history, the Battle of Stalingrad, ended with the Soviet Union's victory over Nazi Germany. This marked a massive turning point in World War II. On February 3, 1959, rock and roll musicians Buddy Holly Richie Valens and J.P. the Big Bopper Richardson died in a plane crash near Clear Lake, Iowa. This was known as the day the music died. In 1960, the American Football League was founded. It was a major professional American Football League that operated from 1960 until 1969 before merging with the National Football League in 1970. On this day, in 1964, the first successful human heart transplant in the United States was performed by Dr. James Hardy. It was done at the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, Mississippi. And in 1870, the 15th Amendment to the United States Constitution was ratified. This amendment prevents denying a citizen the right to vote based on race, color, or previous condition of servitude. On February 4, 2004, Mark Zuckerberg launched the Facebook, originally only accessible to Harvard University students. It quickly expanded to the general public, becoming Facebook. In 1948, Sri Lanka, then Ceylon, gained independence from British rule. This marked the end of colonial rule and the beginning of self-governance for the South Asian island nation. In 1913, Rosa Parks, an iconic figure in the American civil rights movement, was born. In 1955, she refused to give up her seat to a white passenger on a Montgomery, Alabama bus. And in 1945, the Alta Conference began. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, Prime Minister Winston Churchill, and Premier Joseph Stalin met to discuss the reorganization of post-war Europe. On February 5, 1554, Elizabeth I, one of England's most influential and iconic monarchs, officially began her reign. Her government is known as the Elizabethan era and English Renaissance. In 1917, Mexico adopted its current constitution, which was a major milestone following the Mexican Revolution. This document established significant social reforms and began modern Mexico. In 1971, Apollo 14, the eighth crewed mission in the United States Apollo program, became the third mission to land on the moon. Alan Shepard famously hit two golf balls on the lunar surface. And in 1982, Hank Aaron, one of the greatest baseball players of all time, was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Aaron broke Babe Ruth's home run record in 1974 and eventually set his own of 755. February 6, 1840, New Zealand was founded by the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi. The signing of this document established a relationship between the indigenous Maori people and the British Crown. In 1935, Parker Brothers received the patent for the board game Monopoly, one of the world's most famous and enduring board games. 
The popular game has been published in numerous versions and languages. In 1945, the legendary reggae musician Bob Marley was born in Nine Mile, Jamaica. Marley's music, which promoted peace, love, and social justice, left a lasting impact and continues to influence musicians globally. And in 1952, Elizabeth II became Queen of the United Kingdom and the other Commonwealth realms, following the death of her father, King George VI. She reigned the longest of any British monarch. On February 7, 1984, astronauts Bruce McCandless II and Robert L. Stewart made history by performing the first untethered spacewalk, flying outside the space shuttle. In 1990, the dissolving of the Soviet Union had a pivotal moment when the Soviet Communist Party agreed to give up its monopoly on power. This after the Berlin Wall came down the year before. In 1812, Charles Dickens was born. He was an English novelist and social critic who created some of the world's best-known characters. He was one of the greatest novelists of the Victorian era. And in 1940, the animated film Pinocchio had its world premiere. It was one of Disney's most beloved classics known for its animation and compelling story of a puppet who wants to be a real boy. On the 8th of February, 1587, Mary Queen of Scots, rival of Queen Elizabeth I of England, was beheaded at Fotheringhay Castle. Her execution was marked by the great dignity with which she met her fate. In 1932, John Williams was born. He is the American composer who created some of the most iconic film scores of all time, he scored more than a hundred films, many of which were directed by Steven Spielberg. In 1971, the Nasdaq stock market began operations as the world's first electronic stock market. At the time it opened, it was merely a quotation system and did not provide a way to perform electronic trades. And in 1976, the American film Taxi Driver, directed by Martin Scorsese, had its world premiere. The drama was especially known for the performance of young Robert De Niro, a mentally unstable veteran. On February 9, 1942, Carole King was born, one of the most successful female songwriters of the latter half of the 20th century. She wrote or co-wrote 118 pop hits on the Billboard Hot 100. On this day in 1959, the world's first intercontinental ballistic missile became operational. The Soviet R-7 Semyorka missile had a range of 8,800 kilometers or 5,500 miles. On this day in 1964, the Beatles began their first tour in the United States. Their appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show was a seminal moment in rock and roll history, starting the British invasion. And finally, on this day in 1969, the Boeing 747 flies for the first time. The jumbo jet was the world's largest passenger aircraft at the time becoming the commuter train of the global village. On the 10th of February, 1306, Robert the Bruce, of Braveheart fame, murdered John Coman in front of the high altar of Greyfriars Church in Dumfries, sparking the revolution in the wars of Scottish independence. In 1906, the HMS Dreadnought was christened. The Royal Navy battleship represented such an advance in naval technology that her name, Dreadnought, came to be associated with an entire generation of battleships. In 1996, the IBM supercomputer Deep Blue defeated Garry Kasparov in chess for the first time. Deep Blue was a chess-playing expert system which IBM finished, but began development in 1985 at Carnegie Mellon. And in 1962, at the height of the Cold War, a captured Soviet spy named Rudolf Abel was exchanged for the captured American U-2 spy plane pilot Garry Powers. Powers was shot down over the Soviet Union in 1960. On the 11th of February, 1534, Henry VIII of England was recognized as supreme head of the Church of England. He really wanted the annulment of his marriage to Catherine of Aragorn. In 1938, BBC Television produced the world's first ever science fiction television program. It was an adaptation of a section of the Karl Kopeck play R.U.R. and coined the term robot. On this day in 1990, Nelson Mandela was released from Victor Verster Prison outside Cape Town, South Africa. After 27 years as a political prisoner, an important moment in South African history. And on this day in 2020, the World Health Organization officially named 
the coronavirus outbreak as COVID-19, with the virus being designated SARS-CoV-2, the world was about to change. On February 12, 1809, Abraham Lincoln, American lawyer and statesman, and 16th President of the United States was born. Exactly 100 years later, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or the NAACP, was founded. In 1912, the Xuantong Emperor, the last emperor of China, abdicated the throne. He was the last of the Qing emperors. And in 1994, Edvard Munch's iconic painting, The Scream, was stolen by four men from the National Gallery of Norway. On 13 February, 1633, Galileo Galilei arrived in Rome for his trial before the Inquisition. He was found guilty and spent the rest of his life under house arrest. In 1913, the 13th Dalai Lama proclaims Tibetan independence following a period of domination by Manchu Qing dynasty. This began almost four decades of Tibetan independence. In 2008, the Parliament of Australia issued a formal apology delivered by Prime Minister Kevin Rudd to Indigenous Australians for forced removals of Indigenous children. And in 2012, the European Space Agency conducted the first launch of the European Vega rocket from Europe's spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana. The agency was founded in 1975. February 14 is Valentine's Day. Did you know it started as a Christian feast day celebrating a martyr named Valentine? This saint, imprisoned for aiding persecuted Christians, is said to have restored sight to his jailer's blind daughter and performed weddings for Christian soldiers forbidden to marry. He even allegedly signed a farewell letter to the jailer's daughter as your Valentine before his execution. The association of the day with romantic love began in the 14th and 15th centuries. On 15 February 1898, the battleship USS Maine exploded and sank in Havana Harbor in Cuba. The United States declared war on Spain soon afterward. On this day in 1946, ENIAC, the first electronic general purpose computer, is formally dedicated at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. This day in 1989 marked the end of the Soviet-Afghan War. The Soviet Union officially announced that all of its troops had left Afghanistan. And in 2001, the first human genome sequences were published in nearly complete draft form by the Human Genome Project and Solera Corporation. On 16 February 1959, Fidel Castro became premier of Cuba after ousting Batista, the previous dictator. In 1960, the U.S. Navy submarine USS Triton began the first submerged circumnavigation of the globe. On this day, 1968, in Haleyville, Alabama, the first 911 emergency telephone system went into service. And in 2005, the National Hockey League canceled the entire 2004-2005 regular season and playoffs. On 17 February, 1801, a tie in the Electoral College between Thomas Jefferson and Aaron Burr was resolved when Jefferson was elected president by the U.S. House of Representatives. In 1863, a group of citizens of Geneva found an International Committee for Relief to the Wounded, which later became known as the International Committee of the Red Cross. In 1919, the Ukrainian People's Republic asked the United States and a coalition of France, Russia, Ireland, and the United Kingdom known as the Entente for help fighting the Bolsheviks. And on this day in 1972, cumulative sales of the Volkswagen Beetle, since it first began being imported from Germany, exceeded those of the American car company Ford's Model T. On 18 February 1885, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain was published in the United States. On this day in 1930, while studying photographs taken in January, Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto. In 1979, Richard Petty won his sixth Daytona 500. It was the first NASCAR race televised live, flag to flag. And in 2021, Perseverance, a rover designed as part of NASA's Mars 2020 mission, landed successfully. On 19 February, 1819, British explorer William Smith discovered the South Shetland Islands and claimed them for the crown. 
On this day, in 1878, Thomas Edison patented the phonograph in the United States. It was invented at Menlo Park in New Jersey. On this day in 1945, the Battle of Iwo Jima was fought. About 30,000 United States Marines landed on the Pacific Island. And in 2002, NASA's Odyssey space probe began to map the surface of Mars using its thermal emission imaging system. On 20 February 1872, the Metropolitan Museum of Art opened in New York City. It's the fourth largest in the world. In 1931, the U.S. Congress approved the construction of the San Francisco to Oakland Bay Bridge by the state of California. In 1952, a significant moment in sports history happened when Emmett Ashford became the first African-American umpire in organized baseball. And in 1962, while aboard Friendship 7, John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth, making three orbits in four hours and 55 minutes. On 21 February 1848, Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels published the Communist Manifesto. In 1885, the newly completed Washington Monument was dedicated. It was later opened in 1888. In 1972, United States President Richard Nixon visits China to normalize Sino-American relations. And in 1975, three former members of the Nixon administration were sentenced for their roles in Watergate. On 22 February 1732, George Washington, American general and first president of the United States, was born. In 1819, Spain sold Florida to the United States for 5 million U.S. dollars. That's about $121 million today. In 1980, the miracle on ice. In Lake Placid, New York, the United States hockey team defeated the Soviet Union 4-3. And in 1997, in Roslyn, Midlothian, British scientists announced that an adult sheep named Dolly had been cloned. On 23 February 1903, Cuba leased Guantanamo Bay to the United States in perpetuity. On this day in 1941, plutonium was first produced and isolated by Dr. Glenn T. Seaborg. 1954, the first mass inoculation of children against polio with the Salk vaccine began in Pittsburgh. And in 1974, the Symbionese Liberation Army demanded $4 million to release kidnapped victim Patty Hearst. On the 24th of February, the founder of Apple and Pixar, Steve Jobs, was born. His influence in the world of computing and design can still be felt to this day. In 1868, Andrew Johnson became the first president of the United States to be impeached by the House of Representatives. He was later acquitted in the Senate by one vote. In 1920, Nancy Astor became the first woman to speak in the House of Commons of the United Kingdom, following her election as a member of Parliament three months earlier. And in 1991, during the first Gulf War, ground troops from a coalition of countries crossed the Saudi Arabian border and entered Iraq, thus beginning the ground phase of the war. On the 25th of February, 1870, Hiram Rhodes Revels, a Republican from Mississippi, became the first African-American United States Senator. Strangely, this day has many events related to the Soviet Union. In 1921, Tbilisi fell to invading Russian forces, beginning the Georgian Soviet Socialist Republic. 1956, in his speech on the cult of personality and its consequences, Nikita Khrushchev, leader of the Soviet Union, denounced Stalin in what is known as the secret speech. And in 1991, the Warsaw Pact was disbanded at a meeting of its members in Budapest. Incredibly, the Soviet Union was disbanded later that same year in December. Did you know that on the 26th of February, 1815, Napoleon Bonaparte made a daring escape from his exile on Elba, only to lose the Battle of Waterloo later that year? Or that in 1919, the breathtaking Grand Canyon was officially crowned a national park by President Woodrow Wilson? Just a decade later, the Grand Teton National Park, a sprawling 96,000-acre playground in Wyoming, received its own recognition, thanks to President Calvin Coolidge. And on a more somber note, this day, in 1993, marked the tragic World Trade Center bombing resulting in the loss of six lives and injuring over a thousand people. Did you know 
that on this day, February 27, in 1844, the Dominican Republic broke free from Haiti, and now, in 2024, it boasts the largest economy in the Caribbean. In the U.S., February 27, 1951, marked a significant shift in presidential politics, with the ratification of the 22nd Amendment limiting presidents to just two terms. Back to the Dominican Republic, this day, in 1963, saw the election of their first democratically elected president, Juan Bosch, marking the end of Rafael Trujillo's dictatorship. And on this day, in 1964, the Italian government asked for help to prevent the leaning tower of Pisa from toppling over. It was stabilized in 1993 when 870 tons of lead weights were added to it. On this day in 1525, the last Aztec emperor, Cuauhtémoc, met a tragic end at the hands of the conquistador Hernán Cortés. Fast forward to 1983, and America was glued to the screens, bidding farewell to M.A.S.H., a show watched by a staggering 110 million viewers. In 1993, the Branch Davidian Church in Waco, Texas was raided by ATF agents, sparking a 51-day standoff. And in 2013, Pope Benedict XVI made history by becoming the first pope to resign since 1415. On February 29, 1712, Sweden decided to add an extra day to the calendar, creating February 30th in a bid to abolish the Swedish calendar and return to the Julian calendar. Jumping to 1940, on this very day, Hattie McDaniel made history as the first African-American to win an Academy Award for her stellar performance as Mommy in Gone with the Wind. Fast forward to 1984, Pierre Trudeau, the influential leader of the Liberal Party and Prime Minister of Canada, announced his retirement, marking the end of an era. And in 2020, Joe Biden made a striking comeback by winning the South Carolina primary election. February 29, a leap day, is indeed a day of leaps in history filled with surprises and significant events.